Welcome back to Ever back again with another Big Brother video. Welcome to probably one to five people that are watching this really, really late review. But if y'all watch Big Brother on a delay like me, y'all wait for it to show up on the CBS app, y'all know and y'all can relate that Big Brother really played us and waited forever to put the new episode on because I got off of work at seven in the morning and I was waiting, anticipating all day for me to watch this episode. During one of my breaks at like 3 in the morning or 2 in the morning, I checked to watch some of the episode because I had like 30 minutes. And it wasn't up, but I didn't think nothing of it. I thought maybe I didn't have Wi-Fi. I got back to this hotel because y'all know I'm on vacation. Well, if y'all didn't know, now y'all know. And it wasn't up. And I stayed up like till like 9 trying to look for the episode. It would not go up on the app. I even tried to look at like some, some bootleg streaming sites to watch it. And it just would not work. And I was really upset because I was avoiding spoilers for a long time. But then like... I ran into the spoiler on Twitter on mistake that Jack got evicted because it was a video of his speech uh, with his interview with Julie. So I watched that because I just was anticipating. I was like, I couldn't wait. So I watched that. But let's just get to the review of these episodes. Basically, uh, Jessica won HOH. I actually kind of like the, uh, well, I kind of like the HOH commenting, but I feel like it should have been where they look at the memory wall and like memorize it the day before not like right there because they could have did that hoh live just the way i see it um so the week was crazy <laughs> uh so grateful undeniable six shooters they all broke apart or whatever i honestly was more on christy tommy and jack side and annalise whatever i just don't like jackson i dislike jackson more than i dislike jack but then after hearing julie's interview but Jack says some, or Jack sent Mickey says some pretty crap, messed up stuff too. So we'll see if she called him out too. But Jack, I'm surprised he got such a loud reaction when he walked out. Cause he did get some cheers. Like, but anyway, so Jessica won HOH. She put up Jackson and Jack. At that point, she might as well have put up somebody else and Jack. Because if she wanted Jack out, like why even put Jackson up? Because he would have been, well, he did put her up and he banished her. Well, no, he banished her. He didn't put her up. But, yeah, I see. But, anyway, yeah, she wanted Jack out from the very beginning. It was just, like, kind of a troll week for everybody because they were really just trolling Jack. It was funny. Well, I didn't watch, but I watched reviews of people who watched the live feeds, live feed updaters. And it was funny hearing that Jack was begging and pleading for votes. By the way, I just got done watching the episode, finally. It's, like, 4 o'clock, and after dark this is just i'm not watching after dark it's just like the end of the episode as y'all can see right there but anyway uh the veto the veto was good i like the veto a lot and uh jessica <laughs> i think that was kind of a crapshoot because how did jessica win when you saw everybody else spinning in a chair and they were like spotting those turns and jessica was sitting there like this like she was getting a massage or praying like she was and she won and nick was the only person not spotting his turns and he came in second I saw on the feeds, like, how Tommy was saying, oh, Kat can repay us. We gave her a trip to Hawaii. No, you didn't. You really didn't give her that trip to Hawaii. But you took the veto because that's what you're supposed to do. You, each person, the game was set up for each person to take the veto. So that you never know. Like, if you take the veto, you never know. Like, the next person, the winner of the actual competition could get offered $10,000. And if they the HOH... They probably gonna take $10,000 and not take the veto. They gonna be like, well, just veto yourself. There's some other targets in here. So I think that's the purpose of this competition. Well, 10,000, I don't think Big Brother gives away 10,000 in a competition like that, but 5,000 they do. Uh, I don't know. Like if Jessica won and it was 10,000, I think she probably would have let somebody else keep the veto. I really do, because 10,000 is you know, you'll be leaving with a good number because she already getting paid from the show and she get 10,000, she get, like, it's a lot. It's it's more than, I know it's like only double 5,000, but I don't know, that's just my thought. Uh, Yeah, so the reason why I was more on Jackson or Jack, Christy and Tommy and Sis side is because at this point, they're the um, underdogs. You gotta say it, they're the underdogs because if Mickey and Holly just switch sides, and, and I just hate how Nicole and Jessica, especially Kat, are just so open to let's work with them. Well, like, Kat, you should still be targeting Mickey. Why? Like, what? I thought all this stuff about your character and all this and how you wanted him out, he's rude, all this. What happened? Like, I just don't respect that. I don't like that. And y'all know, Christy, I have praised her on this 
on this review. If y'all have not watched, by the way, I'm not editing this. I'm not editing this because it's already late enough going up and I don't know if it's gonna get no views and I'm just posting it. So sorry if it's bad. But anyway, Christy, I have praised her in each review as being one of my favorites. And I, I am going to stick with that because I think she is playing a good game. I know a lot of people keep comparing her to Vanessa. I can see why they would compare her to her. But Vanessa gameplay was way better. Christy, I feel like she not making these moves strategically. Or maybe she is. I don't know. It's just something about Christy to where, no, she's no Vanessa something like like y'all know what i'm saying like she's not vanessa 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 by the way is my favorite big brother player of all times and i've seen almost every big brother us and almost every big brother canada i haven't seen season one two have i seen three i don't remember what three was i haven't seen one two maybe three i don't remember yeah i don't think i've seen three i haven't seen season one two three Six, seven, eight, or nine. Those are the only seasons I haven't seen of Big Brother US. Um, I can't wait to watch season eight. <laughs> and I can't wait to finish watching season six because I just started it. Well, but anyway, well, I haven't just started. Anyway, back to review. Where was I? So I just, I like Christy uh, as much as, as long as she don't, she stop with the personal attacks on people inside the house like David, Kimmy. Stop bringing them up. Just stop. They're not even there. And when she was there, she was... I don't like that type of stuff, but everything else, I'm fine with Christy. I like her. She's still one of my favorites. Well, I don't I don't say I like her because I don't like anybody in this house except Nicole. Cat grew on me a lot. Holly is not that bad, and I think Holly might win this show. I really do. I think Holly's going to win. Um, but I still got to manifest that Christy's winning. What about all this crap going on with Nick in the house this week and how he's such a creep? I don't think that therapist job is going to um, but he still live with his mom, too. Nick is such a weirdo. I, I don't know, y'all. I don't know about Nick. He, like, what is up? With, like, if y'all watch the feed, y'all know what I'm talking about. Him with Christy and him with Tommy and him with Mickey and Sis and Jack. Like, what? Did I really just call her Sis? Annalise. Anyway, Jessica won the veto. She had a perfect week. She decided not to use it. Ain't that so funny because everybody always slept on Jessica, including me, thinking she wasn't going to win nothing. I never thought she would not win anything because she did come close in a lot of challenges. Hope y'all can see me. But, yeah. Um, so, tonight's episode. It wasn't really nothing special on it. All this show was the, the punishments. Tommy's punishment. I don't know. I didn't like it that much. It was kind of lame to me. I'm traveling at the speed of why i'm traveling at the speed of i mean the costume by itself was fine he can just wear that but the actual i'm traveling at the speed of, that was i don't know it didn't do anything for me jackson's wasn't that great either and jacks jacks was probably the best punishment if tommy just had to wear the costume and he had something else other than i'm traveling at the speed like maybe every time he entered a room he had to say that for the whole week Every single time you go into a room, you have to say, I'm traveling at the speed of, and then something else. That would have been more entertaining to me. I don't know. It probably would have been lame, too. But Jax was the best one to me. <laughs> it was funny. It actually was funny. So, let's get to the eviction. I I watched this kind of, like, I just was trying to get it done. So, I didn't, I don't have all my my usual stuff where I talk about who gave shoutouts and who didn't. And who everybody voted for. Well, Tommy is lame because he voted Jack out, like... They already know you're on the other side. Why do people do that? Like, Jack's your boy. Vote to keep him because anything could have happened. If, if, what's her name? Tommy could have voted to keep Jack. And what if, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Blonde hair, Cat. What if Cat was like, you know what? I can't do this on TV. I have to vote to evict, uh, Jackson. And I just, I think that we have enough votes. So my vote, we can just blame it on Nick. What if she did that? And what if Nick, like, actually did it too? It, he, Jack would stay by mistake. I don't know. I would have just wanted Jack to stay more. But then again, if Jack would have stayed and Tommy just won HOH, yeah, never mind. It's better. But J Jackson was just so cocky inside their little meeting when they was apologizing and stuff. <sighs> don't like Jackson. Don't like Jack either. I don't like Jack. I, I barely like Tommy. 
Uh, and Tommy is so fake. I'm so tired of Tommy with this whole, like what? Get out of here. He is so, and when he was about to win HOH, he crying up there like, I'm tired of Tommy. I wish he didn't win HOH. I wish we got him out this week. And now we can't even send him on the field trip. Uh, speaking of the field trip, so Jack was evicted by a vote of six to two. I believe that was the vote. Uh, Tommy and Sis, Atlanta Lee, were the only two to vote to keep him. His interview, Julie clocked him on a couple things. Um, I feel like they could have showed way more or better stuff. She should have asked him, so the shaker bottle incident. Why did you think you were so like, who are you to tell her that? And why did you treat her so bad? Like, I don't know. They could have showed more and said more. I watched the extended interview. Nothing really special happened. I wish they would have showed the goodbye message from uh, Holly. Because I feel like that was a really good goodbye message that should have been on the TV screen. I feel like they should have shown that. And the one from uh, Christy was good, too. Because Jack has this thing in his mind where he just thinks, Oh, I should have just listened to Jackson and not been with uh, Christy. Nah, Christy was loyal to you. She really was. Um... And you never know, Christy, I think, well, well, Jack was always number three. Because with Jackson, he's number three, or number two. Because Jackson has Holly first, then him. And Christy has Tommy first, and then Jack. So Jack's real final two should have been Annalise, but he don't care about her that much. He really don't. He just wants to sleep with her. So if she gets sent to jury next, she might end up pregnant. I'm just saying. Uh, So, is that it? Where was I? Oh, the field trip. So I voted only once, one day. So I voted 10 times. And I, I didn't give any votes to Christy. I didn't give any votes to Kat, Jessica, Cliff. I don't think I gave a vote to Holly or Nicole. I, I think I voted like a lot of times for Jackson, a couple of times for Jack, and I voted for Tommy. I think those were the three people I voted for. Um. So so Tommy went the HOH I actually liked. I'm glad they got to show it off. Uh I thought it was funny when Christy was in the lead for a while, but then Tommy took her. That's that's funny. Like those two, but now they got this field trip. Like I just wish that I hope that somebody on the other side goes, Oh, I never thought I'd be saying this. But Tommy's HOH, so he's probably not even gonna put up Jackson. He's putting up probably Cliff and maybe Cat. He might put up Clap Cat. Because of what Oh man, I hope Cat don't go home this week. Cat, maybe Cliff. Send Cliff home. I don't want Cat to go home. That that's gonna suck. If Cat goes home, that's gonna suck. I hope they send Cliff home. But if Cat's up against Cliff, they probably sending Cat home. Cause Cat would only have Jackson and Holly. Maybe Jessica. Oh yeah, Jessica. She would have Jessica. Cat. Uh, that's only three. Yeah, Cat might be in trouble this week. Cat might be the one in trouble this week. But, y'all, uh, Tommy's HOH. I like the HOH competition. I don't really think I have anything else to say. Leave comments inside the comment section down below and let's talk about this uh, this week's Big Brother. Uh, until next time, y'all. I don't think I have anything else to say. Is that it? Catch you later.